Hi, welcome along to another video. This time we'll be looking at weather modification in the Philippines and Saudi Arabia as well as the United States. We'll touch base with what David Keith is up to. Also on the subject of geoengineering, the Prime Minister of Singapore has made some comments about it. We'll look at some mainstream media disinformation at Yahoo and out of date information from MIT and finish up with something from 1969, 53 years ago. So weather modification news. The Philippines, from the end of March, in a statement, the Manila Water Works and Sewage System, and also the Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration, have been conducting cloud seeding operations since last week. The same announcement is on the Philippine News Agency, website from the government of the Philippines, Saudi Arabia. From the first week in March, cloud seeding can help Saudi Arabia combat its water scarcity as the desert country has no permanent rivers or lakes and little rainfall to meet growing water demand. The National Artificial Rain Programme, affiliated with the Saudi Green Initiative, is expected to roll out this year and continue for five years. The programme aims to increase rainfall by up to 20% over the current rate. So, five years of weather modification coming up for Saudi Arabia. Over to America, via CNN, scientists in the US are flying planes into clouds to make it snow more. It's from the middle of March. So the programme manager for Wyoming's weather modification programme admits she gets lots of calls about what they are doing. Some people have said you're playing God. Others say you are stealing moisture from the storm, making other areas drier than they normally would be. Kind of like robbing Peter to pay Paul. What we'll pay attention to there is the fact that they're getting lots of calls about what they are doing. Citizen action. A quick look at the Wyoming Weather Modification Program webpage. And there's a new fact sheet on Wyoming's weather modification program 2021 and we'll just touch on the other areas in the United States that also have weather modification programs so along with Wyoming there's Colorado Idaho North Dakota Utah and Nevada David Keefe very famous in the world of geoengineering a profile for him has appeared on the Mars Impact Health website. Nothing to do with the planet, as far as I could see. Could be wrong though. There seems to be some sort of presentation going on on May 25th to the 27th. It looks like David Keefe is going to be a speaker at this event. There is also, on April the 21st, at lunchtime, in Chicago, at the University of Chicago Energy Policy Institute, a presentation by David Keefe. So you might want to go along and say hello to him and let him know what you think about all of things. If you have people in the Chicago area, please make sure they know this is going on. Thank you. Singapore, Prime Minister Lee has been speaking about things. And we'll touch on this bit. Responding to another question about geoengineering projects to counteract global warming, Mr. Lee said pilot projects are possible, though the situation remains dire. It is one of those things where you are boiling the frog and therefore no political system is able to respond vigorously enough, because today's problems are always more urgent than the climate change challenge, said Mr. Lee. If anyone can make sense of that, do the comments thing please help so in the singapore business review from the speech at the council on foreign relations the prime minister likewise said he is personally prepared to do some pilot projects on new technologies that would cool the planet like geoengineering but said doing so needs careful thinking working out the profit always needs careful thinking over to Yahoo News, nice disinformation article there. New chaos theory finding hints that humans could control the weather. Could. Human beings have become very good at predicting the weather, but despite various attempts, we still can't control it. 
but a new mathematical investigation using computer simulations hints that it might be possible to change that one day. So, we'll leave that there, just for obvious reasons. The person didn't do a very good search on the subject. MIT Technology Review have just released an article to do with the advancements in cloud seeding capabilities via nanotechnology. This is from the United Arab Emirates and it happened two years ago. So we'll leave that there as well because you already know about that two years ago. We'll finish up with an article from September 1969, so nearly 53 years ago, authored by Palmer King, who was the regional solicitor of the United States Department of the Interior for Denver, Colorado. In the article, Legal Aspects of Web Modification, and this is written a good 20 years after the technology was being introduced widely, Palmer King states, Due to the unique nature of the weather modification science, existing legal analogies generally appear deficient in one way or another. So because of the advancements, because of the science of the technology, the law that currently exists today should be considered outdated and will need constantly updating as technology progresses such as the advancements in cloud seeding technology developed a couple of years ago in the United Arab Emirates. Look after yourselves. See you next time.